Hello beautiful people of YouTube. My name is Shreds and in today's video we're going to talk about what I eat and why. Hopefully you'll learn some ways to improve your approach to nutrition. We'll talk about what to avoid and what you should be eating. Now first and foremost let's talk about how to cook. Now you might be a seasoned chef or you might have never made a meal in your life. However, some things that I'm going to recommend that you avoid are first and foremost going to be seed oils. Anybody who watches content in the fitness industry has probably heard of seed oils by now. Vegetable oil, whatever it's referred to as, it's highly processed and your body can't digest it properly. So avoid seed oils. Eat things like butter or cold pressed organic olive oil. Cook with beef tallow and you'll be much better off. Now, when it comes to what to cook in, you want to avoid anything that's got a non-stick coating. Now what happens is, when these non-stick pans get scraped up, they leave little flakes of that non-stick coating in your food. And there have been studies that show that the flakes from that non-stick coating lead to cancer. You don't want cancer. Nobody wants cancer. So get yourself a stainless steel pot or a stainless steel pan. I would even recommend a cast iron skillet. This is personally my favorite way to cook other than on the grill. There's so many things that you can do and it gives so much flavor to your food. So I would recommend avoiding anything non-stick and using either stainless steel or cast iron to cook your food. Another thing to look out for in your food is going to be preservatives, artificial sweeteners, and artificial dyes. Now, these are everywhere. So it's important that you stick to whole foods, meat, eggs, fish, fruits, and vegetables, and shop around the perimeter of the grocery store. Get your produce, get your meat, your animal products, and get out. Because everything else that comes in a bag or a box is not food. It's a product, and it's gonna have calcium phosphate, sodium tripolyphosphate, nitrates, nitrites, EDTA, sodium benzoate, all of these chemicals that you don't want to be ingesting that are in there to preserve the shelf life and ultimately to line the pockets of whoever owns that food company. So I would recommend avoiding anything that's got artificial preservatives, artificial dyes, artificial flavorings. There are ways that people can flavor their food and dye their food without it being synthetic. You can have fruit that you put in a product that makes it a certain color or it makes it taste a certain way. So try to find those organic alternatives to your preserved and artificially sweetened and dyed foods. Salt has been demonized over the past few years and we've been led to believe that if you eat lots of salt then somehow you're gonna have high blood pressure. Well, I urge you to look into the studies that have linked salt consumption with high blood pressure and you'll find that there's some things in there that shouldn't be. Anyways, I recommend that you eat lots of pink Himalayan sea salt. Regular dead sea salt will work or you could even get Redmond salt from Utah. That's personally what I like. Now, as far as eating carbs, I find that avoiding carbs in the morning is gonna help you avoid the crash that's associated with carbs. However, if you're craving something sweet, I would recommend that you eat fruit. Now, personally, I like medjool dates. If you've watched any of my other videos talking about what I eat, I love me some medjool dates, especially with peanut butter. And when you get peanut butter, don't get peanut butter that already comes mixed with palm oil and sugar. Get the natural peanut butter that separates, that you have to stir around. The only ingredient should be peanuts and salt. Next, if I'm going to have carbs in the morning, I'm going to stick to fruit. Because the naturally occurring fiber is going to help slow the digestion of the sugar into my bloodstream. Simply put, that's going to help me avoid that mid-morning crash that you get when you eat pancakes with syrup. 
Some people advocate for eating lots and lots of leafy greens to get your fiber in. However, I don't necessarily think that's a great idea. I think that greens are good on occasion, but they should make up most of your carbohydrates. I would say sticking to things like potatoes, fruit, and naturally occurring sugars that you would find in honey or even milk. Eating meals that are full of protein and fat derived from a high quality source are going to be what's best for you and your health. A lot of people talk about, well, you can't have lots of red meat because the cholesterol, you're going to have all these heart issues. Well, the truth of the matter is that cholesterol is a building block to testosterone. And if you want to have healthy hormone levels, you need healthy fats. Eating lots of red meat. Now, I'm not just talking garbage. You want to get quality meat. You want to get meat that is raised ethically that is out roaming pastures, eating what animals should be eating, not been given a bunch of shots and antibiotics and steroids and hormones, and eating a bunch of grain, sleeping inside. You want to have an animal that's happy, and you will be happy because your hormones will be much healthier when you eat that way. I like to go by the saying, you either pay the farmer now, or you pay the doctor later. So think about it. What's really important to you? Is it important to pay for your Netflix subscription or should you spend that extra few dollars on higher quality meat? Because you're gonna feel better, you're gonna perform better, your work is going to be better, your life is going to be better, and it really doesn't cost that much when you look at it from that perspective. You're not just buying the food now, you're buying into what that food is going to do for you and your family buy high quality and if it takes sacrificing some of the discretionary funds that you have for other things such as entertainment I would always recommend that you do so now that's enough talking about food let's get into some actual meals that I would be eating that way you can get an idea of how you should be tailoring these meals to best suit you in your fitness Sometimes we get confused and we think that our thirst is really hunger. So you'll feel like you're craving something and oftentimes we go for food, when in reality your body just wants to be hydrated. One way that I have found to help people drink more water is to flavor the water. If you want to avoid anything with artificial sweeteners, any form of dyes that give it a different color, and the only product that I've found so far, which I'm in no way affiliated with, is this brand called Ultima, which makes an electrolyte mix. So it's going to improve your performance and help you achieve healthy hydration. Mix this in with your creatine, and it goes down much easier than just creatine with straight water. For breakfast, we're going to be having some beef patties with cheese and eggs. I love to start my day with fat and protein. It just helps me keep my hunger in check. I also don't eat early in the day. It's literally 12 o'clock and I find that I'm most productive when I just fast through the morning and don't bog my system down with the need to digest food. So usually I'm not really hungry. I'm just focused on drinking lots of water. And my beautiful wife got me this 50 ounce water bottle. And I'll usually drink this entire water bottle before I'll even think about eating breakfast. So that's a great way to stay hydrated. And also, like I was talking about earlier, keeping your thirst in check. Because oftentimes we do confuse our thirst and hunger. So making sure that the first thing on your mind in the morning is drinking lots of water is going to help you balance the amount of food that you eat with how much you really need. Now... These patties that we got, they're organic, they're grass-fed, they are delicious. We've got some beautiful cheese curds that we're going to melt on top of the patties. And I'd like to talk to you for a moment about the kind of eggs that you should be eating. These right here are organic pasture-raised eggs. They're not fed any grain. They're just eating crickets and worms and things that chickens should be eating when they're out freely roaming pastures. One way that you can tell if you've got quality eggs or not is 
the color of the shell, how hard the shell is, these should be solid. You don't want your eggs to be easily broken. If they're easily broken, that's an indicator that they're low quality. Also, you want to look for a rich orange yolk. That's the most nutritious part of the egg. And if it's a light yellow, that egg doesn't contain what your body truly desires. Get you some high dollar eggs and you will taste the difference. We're gonna go out and throw these on the Blackstone. We're gonna get a nice sear on these burgers. We're gonna melt our cheese. We're gonna fry some eggs. And we're gonna fill our bellies. See you out there. Okay, so I was gonna wait until they juice out of the top, but they're not wanting to do that. So our patties are octopatties. And, uh, yeah. Now that we got them split, we're just gonna put some butter on top. So here's the deal. We just got back from the gym, and before we went to the gym, we went and ate at my wife's grandmother's house. They cooked a bunch of really good food, so we really didn't have to cook our lunch today, but it was all whole foods. There was nothing processed. We had a great workout, did a little bit of a full body session, squats, lunges, back extensions, dips, pull-ups, a little bit of stretching at the end there, and now it is time to eat supper. So I'm going to take a shower and then we'll get into supper. Tonight for supper, my wife and I are going to be having these beautiful ribeyes. Now I understand that it might not be realistic for you to have ribeyes for supper. At the time of recording this video, it is New Year's Eve, so we're having a little bit of a celebration. And if you don't have access to or you're looking for a more cost-effective alternative to a local butcher, or maybe a high-end grocery store, I would highly recommend a service called Wild Pastures. It's personally what my family uses to source our quality, organic, pasture-raised, grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef, different cuts of meat, and chicken. They've got all sorts of things on there, but essentially it's just delivered to your door, and you get it on a subscription basis, so that could be a few weeks, a few months, whatever you like. It's just convenient and more cost effective than going out and trying to find something at the grocery store that actually sells good beef 45 miles from your house. We're going to have these on the Rectech Bullseye. I've got it heated up to 750 degrees. And if y'all haven't seen that thing, you got to check it out. It is an amazing smoker. We absolutely love ours, and it runs off of wood pellets, so it has a tremendous flavor profile, and I have no doubt that these ribeyes are going to hit the spot and help us celebrate the coming of the new year. see that that did not happen that steak identifies as a steak that was properly laid on the grill we didn't lose any heat so we're good it was an amazing Christmas gift from my wife's parents and we love it very much if y'all have the ability to cook on one of these take advantage of it it is an awesome experience and I have no doubt these steaks will turn out to be delicious. Alright, it is time for flip number one. Let's try and do this properly. Ah, yes. A few moments later.
This is Shreds coming to you through a voiceover because this audio got corrupted and what I'm saying in this clip is that it's important to drink filtered water out of either a stainless steel or a glass cup because you do not want plastics leaching into your body and drinking out of glass or stainless steel is a great way to prevent that. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that this gives you some insight into my approach towards nutrition. I know a lot of you have asked me for a video like this, so if you did find it helpful, share it with a friend, drop a comment down below, show your support by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, turn on those post notifications for more content like this, and have a blessed day.